It's thundering and lightning outside. I love the sound of lightning. Except when it hits your satellite dish. <laughs> your cable. Your, your, your TV goes out. Um, I got an order already for uh, five wallets. I uh, posted info about it kind of uh, perfected what I think is the most simple design and here it is. There's not another um, video about this topic on YouTube and I've actually looked and so I love making original videos. I like you, you know, back ages ago because I've been making things out of leather for like 20 years, but ages ago, ages and ages, you know, I would look at like decent or high quality leather goods and I'm like, God, why were these so expensive? It's ridiculous um, because, and there are various types of leather. This is an expensive type of leather. It's called pull-up leather, and it's very fancy. And a specific, it is a specific thickness um, for wallets. It's uh, basically three and a half ounces of thickness. That's a thickness rating. But I'd like to mention all the steps it takes to make something out of leather because, you know, Ages ago when I was younger, or probably like you, you're thinking, well, look at this thing. You know, it's just leather. You just cut it and sew it together. Let me tell you the countless steps it takes. And I'm just going to use this wallet. You know, some things are a lot more. Some things are a lot, uh, a little bit less, not a lot less. What it takes to make something, all the steps it takes to make something as simple as this uh, leather wallet. And yes, there, in this wallet of my design, there's seven pieces of leather in it, so... Now, if you're working in production, like, you know, you're just making like five or ten things, right? One of them's wallets. You have a design, it's basically like a cookie cutter, and it goes into a machine called a clicker. And a clicker is basically just like a cookie dough cutter where it actually puts a lot of pressure to cut out uh, pieces of leather. So you don't have to, it saves a lot of time, but still there's an enormous amount of uh, steps. So this is why leather goods are so expensive. And by the way, I've been hand stitching up holsters, making up holsters for decades. And um, man, that's really, that's another complicated process too. So if it's something that you've not done before, you have to design it. And you want it to be your own design. It's like a wallet's a wallet. And this is true, but there's a million different ways you can make a wallet. I put a circular hole here. This is meant for like a driver's license. And so that's my little signature on this because that's all you need. A big window actually becomes floppy over time and then it, you know, just kind of like socks. You've worn them a million times and they get floppy and, you know, they don't hold. So that's why I put a, a hole here instead of this big window that you see in a lot of wallets. So you have to design it and make it your own design. Otherwise, you're just copying somebody else's. And I did design this. Um, you have to prototype it with the pattern. So you have to spend an enormous amount of time making a very, and this is my pattern. I lay this on top of the leather and I scratch it out. Um, I don't use a marker. So I use a scratching tool to scratch the leather underneath it. And then of course, you know, whip out the scissors and cut it all by hand. So you actually have to have a very, very precise pattern. So you're going to make a first one, possibly two of something. And it's going to be whopper jawed. It's going to be a little strange. So it won't be right. So you'll be wasting a lot of time and expensive leather prototyping it. So then you have to find the perfect appropriate leather. You just can't make it, especially a wallet. You know, you want it to fold up. And this is empty. So once you got all your cards and your money in here, you don't want it to be something enormous. You have to find the appropriate type of leather. Like for a, a wallet leather, it has to be the appropriate uh, stiffness and thickness and has, a, has to have the right type of wear and uh, scratch resistance. And of course, any kind of leather, you can sit there and drag your claws across and scratch it. But there is some leather that's like totally inappropriate to make a wallet out of. So you have to find, and wallet leather is quite expensive. Uh, I got the most expensive roll I got back there is $14 a square foot. Um, so that can't be just any other leather. You have to scratch out the pattern onto the leather, like I said, then you need to cut the pieces. If you're going into mass, mass, mass production, then you get your little cookie cutter dies and a big old expensive machine like a clicker, but I'm not making, you know, hundreds or thousands of wallets here. Um, then what you do, you don't just sew them up. You have to take all the pieces and, you know, because they're not going to sit there perfectly. 
you know, while you you can't have tin hands while you're sewing it up, so you have to barge cement them in. You have to lay down this thin layer of uh, cement called barred cement. It's meant for leather. And you have to perfectly position them. That way all the leather pieces are held together kind of semi-permanently, but just strong enough so you can stick it underneath the sewing machine. So you, know, you need to sew the pieces, and you need to have the skills, especially on a leather wallet, to make your stitching straight. And then, of course, you have to tack each little piece, because right here at the corners of the wallet, you know, they take a lot of stress over time. So you have to sew it forward, back again, and then back again, and everything has to be perfectly straight. Um, after that, I need to wet the leather to soften it up. There's a special wetting tool that atomizes uh, water to soften up the leather. And then also, too, all the edges are rough after you've done all that, because it's just cut leather. So I need to sand the edges. I need to awl off the corners with an edger. I need to scribe it, and then I whip out the saddle soap with my uh, canvas and I sit there and use the saddle soap and it, it basically shines up the edges. So I'm sitting there by hand, um, you know, using saddle soap and uh, and then I edge coat them. You can either saddle soap or edge coat. You could actually do both. Um, I also, too, once the leather is soft and pliable after you wet it, because you don't hammer dry leather. That's not like super dry. It's still malleable, but I whip out the hammer and sitting here beating it into perfect submission so that it makes a perfect geometrical wallet shape. So you're sitting there hammering the hell out of it. Literally. And I have a special piece of solid steel that I set it on and while I'm hammering the hell out of it. No lie. Um, then I whip out this stuff called Obenhoff's Heavy LP. It's basically like beeswax. It's basically like a moisturizer for your skin, except it's made specifically for leather goods. So I'm sitting here rubbing that in by hand on absolutely every surface. Then I wipe it off, and then I add another layer. And it will take like about four days for those emollients and moisturizers to soak in. And then the piece will lighten up about 30% from what it is right now. And then, since it's uh, braided nylon on the sewing thread, you have these little pieces that are sticking out on these various places all over it. And you need to whip out a lighter and burn the little bits of nylon that are sticking out. And it, you know, melts it flat to the piece. Yeah. Is that a lot of steps? Because you and basically everybody out there, you just cut the pieces and you sew it. There's, there's so many steps just to make this wallet. And so the next time you see a quality handmade Really, all leather goods are handmade. Somebody has to stitch it there, you know, even if it's like mass production piece, you know, and they're cookie cuttering out the pieces, which saves time and therefore money. You'll know why a, a quality handmade piece of leather goods is so expensive. It's just there are 30 plus steps in there that you do not see. And uh, I really wanted to make this video because there really are not videos out there like this. Like I said, I did look. And then I keep these patterns. And if I want to even change this to like a, and I'm going to make a, a specific design bifold wallet, I'm going to buy, make a, uh, I have to prototype a bifold wallet. And I'm going to make one of those because a lot of people want a bifold instead of a trifold, which is what this is. And I have to prototype that and make new patterns. And then I have to perfect the pattern because I had to redo these patterns twice to get them absolutely perfect you know, exact perfect parameters. So, um, Even though this is the kind of videos that I normally do, I'm proud to make this video because I love being one of the first people to do a video on YouTube about a specific topic. Why leather goods are expensive. The 30 invisible steps of leather making a quality leather product. And by the way, here's something else that sounds contradictory. The smaller a leather project is, the more painstaking it is to make because every little stitch is visible, you know. This is full grain leather and it's stitched it's stitched together like crazy. I mean it's uh each one is back tacked three times on every start and end, which makes it you you know you've seen stitches like pull out on cheap stuff, so it's not gonna pull out on this one. It's just not. It's uh it's bulletproof, basically. So, I hope you like this video. I'm, uh, I like making informational videos. So, can you speak with experience 
on this stuff. And right over here also too, you don't see another expense of leather work. Here is a $4,000, you can't see it. Trust me, it's there. I've, I've showed pictures of it. Here is a $4,000 leather sewing machine. So big, if it fell over, it'd kill me. And over here is a $3,000 plus. <laughs> so on either side of the camera, literally, even though you can't see it, is $7,000 worth of leather sewing machines. <laughs> That's the other expense. Also, too, the cost of high-quality leather itself. Not cheap. No. You can get cheap leather anyway, guys. Got a leather wallet. It's like, yeah, that leather smells like uh, uh, donkey pee. And uh, you, you can tell it's not going to last that long. So you want to make it out of quality materials. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. The more you know, the better. Now you know why quality handmade leather goods are so darn expensive. People say, why does it cost so much? <laughs> it's because the 30 invisible steps that you don't see when it takes to making one. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Nice wallet. If you want one, email me.